Hey Scrappers, Tom here from the iScrap app, and today I want to show you a little more concrete scientific data behind the differences between yellow brass and copper. But before I do, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, this way when we have new content coming out, you know about it and you can make more money. This is an analyzer. Most people outside of scrapyards are not going to be buying these. These are tens of thousands of dollars, but at least we can show you some of the differences. Now we're going to take this piece of copper tubing and we're going to analyze it and we're going to see what kind of contents inside. And here we can start to see 99.8% copper, 0.06% iron, and 0.05% nickel. Now let's do that same analysis on the yellow brass. Now look at this. Copper content, 79%. Zinc, 8.5%. Lead, 7%. Tin, 3.5%. Iron, nickel, chromium, bismuth. So a lot of different metals that are inside this, and that just shows you the different chemistry contents can be so different. So when you say, oh, why is yellow brass so much less? Well, this is 100% copper, essentially, 99 and change, and this is only 80%. So other things that you can look for, now you can have yellow brass, well, what if you think that you have a piece of red brass? Now look at this. This looks like red brass, but what can we see? 56% copper, 35% zinc, 2.5% lead, and 2% nickel. So this just shows you that when you have yellow brass versus red copper, some of the differences really are so significant that you want to be able to know the differences and now you have some numbers behind it and hopefully that will help you understand better the difference between yellow brass and brass in general and then your regular copper grades. Any other questions on this, let us know. We'll make a video to answer them.